Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the belt on your dryer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So we need to pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Once we've done that, we can start our repair. Now that we have the power disconnected, our next step will be to remove the lid screen and set it aside. That will expose two screws that we need to remove and use caution that we don't drop them down inside that opening. Now next we'll need to raise that main top and this particular style of dryer will need to open the door to allow that to raise up. But to begin with, we're going to take a thin putty knife and go into this gap between the front panel and the main top. And you locate a spring, press back on that, and just lift up slightly on that top. Do the same on the opposite side. Now you'll need to either have the dryer pushed far enough back that you can lean that top up against the wall, or have some type of a lanyard to secure it so that it doesn't tilt backwards. So raise that top to a full upright position. We're going to secure that to the cabinet so that we don't put too much pressure on those hinges. Now with our top secure, our next step particularly with this style of dryer, is we need to remove the front panel and the door assembly. It's held to the cabinet, the screws on either side, just a couple inches down from the top, and typically those are about a 5 16 hex head screw. You can remove those, disconnect the door switch, and then set that aside. Now our next step will be to disconnect the wire harness connector to the door switch. So using a small flat blade screwdriver, we'll go in on either side of this connector, and just stretch that a bit, flip it over, do the same to the opposite side. And separate it. And then we'll go ahead and remove the two screws. Be sure to support that door and front panel assembly as you remove the second screw. We'll just tilt that assembly just slightly forward and then we need to lift it off of some clips that are located on the front edge of that cabinet down close to the bottom. So lift up one side at a time, pull it away. Then we'll take that whole assembly and just set it aside. Now next we need to remove the front bulkhead. It's held to the cabinet with two screws on either side. We need to remove the lower one and then just loosen the top one because we do have a keyhole slot that will hold onto that bulkhead. And we'll just loosen that top one a few turns. Repeat that procedure on the opposite side. Now we'll need to lift up on that bulkhead. You may be working against the tension of the belt. Just lift it up far enough that you can clear those keyhole slots. And then you'll need to support that drum. Tilt the bottom of that bulkhead out so that our drum support wheels come out from underneath that drum. And then we'll just set that bulkhead aside. Now next we'll need to release the tension of the belt on that drum. So we're gonna reach in on the right hand side, locate the either and the belt. And then we're going to pull that either towards the cabinet on the right. Once we've released the tension of the belt, we just slide it off the motor pulley. And then we can lift the whole bring it to the cabinet. And now we can go ahead and change that belt. Now when we're stowing that new belt, we want to make sure that we keep the groove side of the belt against the drum. So simply drape it around. And 
and just make sure we have no twists in it. And then we can put it back into the dryer. While we have the drum removed from the dryer, we'll show you the orientation of the belt in relation to the motor pulley and the idler pulley. Keeping in mind the groove side of that belt will go against the drum. And then thread around the motor pulley. That allows the groove side of the belt to ride directly on the outer surface of the drum. The spring will provide tension to keep that belt tight. So we'll use the belt to lift that drum assembly and install it back in the dryer. Fit it through the opening. And then we want to make sure that we fit those rear drum rollers use that groove at the back. Just do a visual check to make sure that the felt is not kinked and it's actually sitting on both rear drum rollers. And now we'll install that belt around the idler and the motor pole. So again, we'll need to support that drum. We'll take the belt, keeping the groove side of the belt against the drum. We'll bring it over top of the idler pulley. Wrap it around down over the left side of that idler pulley. I'm pushing the idler pulley bracket towards the cabinet on the right. That will allow us to take that belt and wrap it around the motor pulley as we release the tension on that idler bracket. That will allow that belt to tighten up. Now we'll reinstall the front bulkhead. And before we put that bulkhead on, just check the function of those front rollers. Make sure they're in good condition, whether they need to be lubricated or replaced. And we're gonna tuck the bottom edge of that bulkhead in underneath the drum so that the drum rollers will fit into this groove at the front of the drum. it up high enough that we can engage the two screws at the top for the keyhole slots and then you can rotate that drum so it fits over those drum rollers. Once we have the drum rollers in underneath that drum it should roll quite freely and you should see that the edges of that bulkhead will lay flush against the cabinet. We'll then install those two screws Tighten the top ones. Now we're ready to put the front panel back on. Now when installing the front panel, with this particular style of model, we need to make sure that the bottom lip of that front panel goes in over top of the base of the dryer. And as well, we need to make sure that these rectangular holes on either side at the bottom of that front panel engage these two clips on either side that will support the bottom of that panel. So we'll line the bottom up first. We'll engage first one side, and then the other. That should line up evenly from side to side, and then we'll secure it with the two screws from inside the cap. Next, we need to make sure that we reconnect the door switch. The harness will only go one way, so just make sure that we have it pressed firmly together and it locks in place. We tuck that down out of the way. We're now ready to lower our main top down. So while supporting it, we'll remove our lanyard to open the door up to allow that top to come down. Line up the spring clips on both sides and press down firmly on the top. Then all that remains is to replace the two screws that secure that 
lint screen housing to the top and the lint screen. Again, use caution that we don't drop these screws down through the opening. Once they're both tightened, we'll replace the lint screen, close the door. We're now ready to push the dryer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.